The worst time to make a difficult decision is in the heat of the moment. Say you're in the market for a new house and you see this new listing in a great neighborhood and so you call your realtor up and she lines up a showing and sure enough, it's the house of your dreams. Granite countertops, hardwood floors, walk-in closets, it's got everything that you want. If you haven't sat down before walking through that house and carefully figured out just how much house you can afford, you might end up making a decision you regret. That maybe explains a little bit one of the most shocking sound bites that ever came from the lips of our Savior Jesus. We're told that at this point in Jesus' ministry, there were large crowds of people who were following Jesus and Jesus turned to them and he said this. He said, If anyone comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even their own life, such a person cannot be my disciple. Jesus wants us to know that if we are going to follow him, it might mean that there are things, even things and people that we naturally love very much, that might have to go. Following him means putting him absolutely first, ahead of everyone and everything else in our life. And the time to figure all that out, the time to really get those priorities in place is ahead of time. If we wait until the heat of the moment, it's probably already too late. If we wait until we're faced with that gut-wrenching decision to break off a friendship or have a difficult conversation with a family member or say no to peer pressure or say no to some sort of temptation, odds are by then it's probably already too late. Jesus illustrates what he's talking about with a, a couple of everyday examples. Say you want to build something. You might have all kinds of dreams about the size and the shape of what you're going to build. You might have all kinds of desires about the features and the finishes that it has. But, but the time to sit down and calculate just how much you can afford is ahead of time, not after the building and the construction have already started. Or for another example, say you want to go to war. Say you want to pick a fight with somebody that you're really, really upset with. The time to sit down and calculate if that's a fight you can win is ahead of time, not after the fight has already started. That's what Jesus is telling us that he wants us to do, to count the cost of following him. So how do you think those calculations will turn out? Well, it actually depends. In fact, just prior to saying this, Jesus told a story about how there was this very wealthy man who threw this lavish banquet for all of the people that he knew. There were actually three people who got the invitation from this man who said no. They might have wanted to go to the banquet, but they had something else going on that they figured was just as good, if not better. But the people that came, the people that eventually filled up the banquet hall, are the people that Jesus describes as the poor, the lame, the crippled, and the blind. People that knew that they had no one and they had nothing that could possibly compare to the riches of the banquet that they were being invited to. In the very same way, if we foolishly think that our friends or our family, our money or our jobs can somehow compete with what Jesus has to offer us, then, then when we calculate the cost of following Jesus, we'll probably decide that it's not even worth it. But if we very wisely realize that nothing and no one that we have in life can possibly compete with the unconditional love and the untouchable status and the invincible hope that we have in Jesus, then we will always know that no matter what the cost, it's worth it. That no matter what we might have to leave behind to follow Jesus, we'll always come out way ahead. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for paying the ultimate cost so that we could be members of your family. Help us count the cost and be willing to give up anything that would come between us and you. In your name we pray, amen. Did you enjoy this video? Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube so you don't miss a single message. Click right here.